Hey guys, what's up? It's Jessica and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a drink that I made up. It's called the Spicy Mama. Let's get it. So on my YouTube channel, I am going to show you guys how to make different drinks and we're just going to make it fun, unique, we're going to add a twist to it and I'm going to show you how to style the drink and make it real cool because you want, you want your drink to look pretty dope, right? So you're going to be the official bartender. I'm not a bartender, you're probably not a bartender and guess what? We're just going to make the drinks, we're just going to make it happen. Okay, so what you're going to start off with is an orange, a jalapeno, mint leaves, bourbon, sweet and sour, and vermouth, okay? Those are the ingredients. Go ahead and gather them, and we're gonna get mixing and making a stylish drink for you and your friends. So first, I'm gonna show you how to do the garnish. Before you even get started, go ahead and set up your, um, your orange and your jalapeno on your cutting board, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a pillar, okay? Because we're gonna make some really cute garnish. You're going to take it, I like to start from the bottom because it's easier like that and you're going to peel it up to the curve and then you're going to do the same for the jalapeno okay you're going to take it and you're going to peel it up like that mm -hmm. and it's going to make really cool um, garnish later okay so once you do the garnish go ahead and set that off to the side like this mm -hmm. and then what you're going to do is you're going to slice your fruit okay so you need one fourth an orange okay and then two to three slices of jalapeno now i like my drink spicy if you like it spicy then add extra jalapeno the part about a jalapeno is that the outside does not make it spicy okay it's actually the seeds so you have to make sure that you kind of start halfway into the jalapeno to make sure you get the seeded area and the more seeds the more spicier so once you slice those just set those off to the side and then you'll have mm -hmm, your garnish and what you're gonna use for the contents of our spicy mama drink, okay? Also, you're gonna need sweet and sour sauce. Um, sweet and sour sauce. Now you're gonna need sweet and sour mix. And there's a couple of options. You can use sweet and sour mix, or if you have margarita mix, then use margarita mix. Because honestly, I say use what you have, and it tastes good as well. But if you have sweet and sour, then it's made for sweet and sour. My official recipe, sweet and sour. Um, also, for all my calorie counting friends out there, you can use sparkling water to replace it. I personally don't like the taste of sparkling water, but um, yeah, you can um, sacrifice the taste for the calories, for the waste, it's up to you. But sweet and sour mix. Now vermouth is a little little secret that I'm adding to my, um, to my drink because it's actually an aromatized wine. And so vermouth is made from the aromas of like herbs and flowers and bark, and it has a base of wine on it. So it's a little bit milder in the alcohol content, but it does have a proof of alcohol in it. It has uh, 16%, and this has 40%, so drink responsibly. Also, we're gonna have this little cup here. This is just the cup that we're gonna use to serve it in with our garnish. It's just a short glass, you know, it's kind of cute. And then I have all the stuff that came in my bar kit. Um, and you can see that from the video haul that I did for bar kits. Okay, so, oh, and you also need some mint leaves, okay? So that's all you need for this drink. I'm super excited to show you and let's kick it off. So you have your, your glass here. What you're gonna do is take the contents that you cut earlier which is the orange. You're gonna peel that orange back like that. Mm -mm. You're gonna drop this, bam, in there. You're gonna take your three jalapenos and drop that in there as well, okay? Next, what you're gonna do is get some mint leaves, okay? Just a couple. It adds just a little freshness to it. Add just a, just a few, maybe this amount, yeah. That amount of mint leaf. You're gonna put it all in the glass, okay? Ooh la la. Then you're gonna take the muttler. Mm -hmm. It's this little device here that's gonna squash it all up for us, okay? So you're gonna take that muttler and you're gonna muddle it like that. So muddle it down. You want everything to be nicely blended and squished. And oh my god, it smells so good. This is what it's gonna look like. Mm -hmm. So you just made a little base juice, really, is what you made. So once you have all of that muddled, 
set your muddler off to the side. And now we're gonna add the liquids, okay? So you have your jigger, mm-mm, one ounce, two ounce, one ounce, two ounce. And you're gonna start with two ounces of bourbon, yeah. So I'm gonna open this baby up. You can use any type of bourbon that you like. I just got the Jim Bean bourbon. Kentucky straight bourbon. Okay, so you're gonna hold up the two ounce and pour it in like that. And pour that nicely in like that. So you're gonna take your sweet and sour mix and you're going to use um, two ounces of this as well. But like I said, if you don't have sweet and sour, you can use margarita mix. So after I put that in, I'm going to take my vermouth, honey, vermouth. I just like to say it, vermouth. And then I'm gonna use the opposite side, which is the one ounce. I'm gonna take one ounce of vermouth, and that just kinda adds a little something, something to it, okay? So now that I have all of my ingredients in, next what I'm gonna do is get my ice. Okay, so I got my ice, and now I'm gonna flip this baby in like that. Boom, 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 set it down. Pop it, lock it in, and then I'm gonna shake. So if you did it successfully, you're not gonna get juice all over you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nice, shake, 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 okay. So now that I've shaken, I'm gonna set it down, pop the side of it, and then you're gonna hear this pretty like lock, okay? Now it's popped, that's how you use that little baby there. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is dress it. All right, got ice in the glass, so I'm gonna set that there, can you see it? Now I'm going to take my strainer, and hold it up like that, and now we're going to pour it, okay? Ooh, like that, and set that down. And you know sometimes the trick at the bars, what they do is it doesn't fill up, so they add ice to it, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna top it off with our garnish. So earlier, remember, we peeled back our orange and we peeled back our jalapeno. Then you're gonna take that orange, you're gonna slip it down, with the jalapeno for the color, you're gonna take that little jalapeno thing, and you're gonna slip it down as well so you have a cute little garnish. And then you're going to take a piece of your mint leaf like this, and then you're just gonna top it off right on top like that. And there you have it, ooh. All right guys, and we're done. That's how you make a spicy mama. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, let's taste it. This is my favorite part. Mm. Oh my God, mmm, 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 spicy mamas. Makes you want to do the, oh my God, mmm. Okay, sorry, mm. Okay, you taste it. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below, like the video. I hope you like it. Mm, 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 mm. Super cute drink, super tasty. I'm gonna leave the full recipe below in the description box. And I'm gonna also leave links to my social media. So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because we're gonna be making a whole lot of drinks and I'm so excited to share them with you, okay? And this is how you mix in style. See you on the next video. Cheers.